What's up, Wayne Baron here with Coding Source. And what we're going to do is that we are going to install the URL rewrite in our Windows 10 IIS environment. So I downloaded it and I'll have the link in the description where you can get this from. Simply Okay, so now that we have our URL rewrite installed, we're going to select our virtual directory or your regular directory, depending on which version of IIS that you're running. This is running on Windows 10. So we're going to choose our URL, URL rewrite, double click on it. Come over here and choose add rules. We're going to choose user friendly URL. I'm just going to type in site dot, uh, site dot com slash cars kiss and then we're going to choose OK. We're going to come over here, double click on this, we're going to open up this area right here. We want to take the following pattern. We're going to paste this in it'll be right there inside of the description below. And then we're going to come down and we want to change this right here to this. OK, so it's going to be profile dot ASP question mark username equals R colon one. We're going to choose log written, rewritten URL. We're going to choose apply. And we're going to create a file. So we're going to do save. And we're inside of test. And so we're going to just create a simple file inside of here. It's going to be profile.asp. We're now going to do a query on the URL to pick up the username string to challenge our database with. So we're going to do string un equals request dot query string. And we're going to do username. Okay. And so once it finds that, it is going to do a response dot write. And we're going to write that. So we're going to do a save. We're going to simply come over here and do 192.168.2.3 slash test and then oops and then do our username and there we go our redirect so it did not change everything stayed the same so what you would do here is that you would put in your database information right here in in this area and then you would be able to uh, grab a hold of that information by simply just doing like a select statement select id username from my users uh, where username equals then do a question mark and then it'd be this string username right here would be this and then that would be all you would need to do. I am Wayne Barron. This is Coding Source. Y'all have a good one now. Bye bye.